Hey everybody, my name is Guardo and welcome to episode 13 of the Minecraft vlog. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I know I've been MIA for quite a few days and I do apologize about that. Let me just say the reason that episode 13 came before episode 12 is because episode 12 was one giant disaster. The past couple days have, uh, have, have been a little bit sad for me in the Minecraft world. I've, um... I don't want to kind of spoil the disasters, but unfortunately, half of the vlog didn't get recorded correctly. So I have bits and pieces of episode 12 that I have to creatively put together to kind of give you the idea of everything that happened. It was a bunch of exploration in the nether, and let's just say it went terribly wrong from the start. Just try to imagine everything that can go wrong on an adventure to the nether, and just that's about what happened. It started with death and losing a lot of equipment. The middle was death and lost everything. And, I mean, at least the ending was was somewhat decent but the upsetting part is that I can't believe that the recording failed on these epic deaths that I have had I mean it, it's it's one thing to die it's sad and it stinks but it's another thing when it didn't record the death I mean th that ravine that runs under the house it's a whole lot deeper than I thought and it's a whole lot longer than I thought that, that spans I don't even know all throughout here, but um, but yeah, let's just say I, sl I slipped up a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I uh, I made a, a couple noob mistakes, and um, I had to pay the price. Um, yeah, it was it was fun times though. It was actually me and Jinx and Guardo Jr. that went on the adventure, and um, and that was the only one that kept dying. I I. I don't get it. A five-year-old and an eight-year-old outlived the epic gamer my of myself, and I've been gaming f for who knows how long. Just not not very long in Minecraft, obviously. But heck, the first game I remember playing very vividly was Mike Tyson Punch Out. So figure out how much gaming's been going on in my life since then. Anyhow, in today's episode, we're going to we're gonna work on this kitchen. We're gonna build. I know I, I wanted to. I, I wanted to build a brewing stand, and I, I I still want to. But and we I do have a bunch of blaze rods now. But I don't want to do that without showing you guys how I kind of acquired the blaze rods. So I'm gonna incorporate that somehow into episode 12. So episode 12 is gonna be like a like a Minecraft vlog mix-up little bit. So we'll we'll see how that goes. But anyhow. We're gonna we're gonna work on our kitchen today. I want to get a, gather a few things here, uh, odds and ends that I think I'll need. I really have no idea what type of kitchen I'm going to make. Um, I'm just kind of winging this. On something like this, it's not so, like I don't really like to study ideas of other individuals that had made things. I mean, I'll I'll look at a bunch of different pictures of kitchens to get a few things here and there. I generally have this style that I always seem to lean to. It usually involves barrels and stoves and shelves. I'm a big fan of barrels, but um, what I'm going to do here is put some smokers in. But you'll notice that I typically have this style or layout in all of the builds that I do. It's just something that I particularly like. I find it looks good. I basically put together this style through different ideas that I found off of Instagram pictures. And now that I have a bunch of different items, let's go downstairs and start playing with things. See how we're going to place them. I'm not really 100% sure how we're going to set this up, but we're going to give this a whirl and see what we come up with. Now I'm half debating on lining this column up here with some smokers and maybe even throw a uh, a stove on top and kind of having like that built into the side of the house but i don't see that turning out well if i go to put things in front see something like this and now if we put some um now if we put anything in front of it it kind of this kind of looks really this looks terrible let me knock this down I'm half debating on taking out all the, uh, knocking all those stoves out of that little uh, column there and filling it in with planks and just kind of making it a level, level area. But I'm I'm gonna try a few different things here to see what I come up with, and 
I'll show you guys here in a minute. Well, we have some progress. This is what I come up with so far. I still have more work to do, but Jinx just informed me she wants me to come outside and take a look at these mailboxes that she placed. And there's Jinx. Say hi. All right. <laughs> What? Where's the mailbox? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. That's pretty cool. Thanks. That's pretty slick. I wouldn't have thought of that. Hashtag impressed. Uh, and we've got mail. We certainly do. We got some leather. Awesome. We actually need that. I'm about to use that for some item frames. Show you guys that here in a moment. See, this looks a bit more organized. Now we can grab our items that we're going to keep in each barrel and place them in the item frame. Kind of organize it similar to our storage system upstairs. So we have chicken in the frame there, cooked chicken up top. I, often I'll put in, sometimes I'll even put in the, the, raw, the raw chicken in there or maybe put... Um, Maybe I'll put like a uh, another container somewhere, like a chest or something, and put all the raw to-be-cooked food in there. Now we could fill up these burners, these smokers with some coal so that they'll be ready to go in case we need to cook something quick. Then we need to figure out what we're going to put in the last smoker over here. The one other item that we could make plenty of is pork chops, being that we have all those sheep over there at the farm. Probably just going to make a trip to the farm and take care of a few sheep, get some pork chops, and throw those in that last that last barrel over there. And in the meantime, I'm going to run over to the garden. Ah, run to the garden. I'm going to run over to the farm, tend the farm, get some wheat, seeds head over to the sheep obtain some pork chops and make my way back over here Woo! y'all just don't know what type of a day i had i got a bunch of food though a bunch of beef i didn't make my way over to the chicken pen it took a little time to do all that Whew. anyhow let's uh let's get these stoves going let's get some food cooking then we can get our then we can get all of our stuff organized and put away and finish the rest of this kitchen that is seeming like it's going to take forever. I don't even have a seat to sit down yet, a table to eat on. I can't even wash my hands in a sink because I don't have a sink yet. This is this is all stuff that I'm going to have to take care of and figure out how in the world we're going to make it look half decent. God forbid grandma comes over to visit, I'm going to be in deep trouble. I don't know how things are where you guys are. But around here, it doesn't matter how old you are, if you don't have your area in order, clean, organized, grandma will take the switch to your tail. And it won't it won't be fun. And I most certainly don't want that switch anywhere near me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get things finished off around here while you guys Google what a spanking switch is. Oh, real brief, I decided to make a stop at the chicken pen. Look at this these chickens the chicken pen is flourishing over here we got tons of eggs to pick up we're gonna be able to make tons and tons of chickens and create plenty of arrows we should not have a shortage of that now let's go ahead and feed these bad boys so that we can make even more of them and then once we're done feeding them we could launch some eggs create even more and more chickens now here we go let's launch these eggs as you can see we have dozens and dozens and dozens of eggs and that was that was just from this pickup and out of these dozens we're probably not going to get too many chickens we got two or three right there but that that pile actually turned out pretty good sometimes you get maybe out of a stack of 16 you'll be lucky to get two chickens to hatch out of it i don't know the exact random calculation it is on that i just know generally you're good for about one out of eight eggs to hatch it one chicken out of eight eggs now that we just made a whole bunch of chickens we're going to go ahead and take some of them out we're going to gather a bunch of feathers, gather a bunch of raw chicken. We'll be able to take it to a nice new kitchen, uh, a nice new kitchen. So this chicken pen is going to be super super effective in producing more and more chickens. As I'm starting to head back to the house, I notice a couple bitties looks like they got out, but that's all right. They'll be fine just out there. They'll be a part of our free range chicken initiative. All right, anyhow, back to the house we're going to try to recover from this distraction uh, and finish up our project and here we have a kitchen sink with a little countertop I don't have 
much other than white carpet, so I used white carpet as the countertop. I used a little hook there to make it look like there's a faucet with this little um, cauldron that I filled up with water to be the sink. That chest under there, I'm probably going to end up replacing with something. I'm not exactly sure what. would love to make it look like a dishwasher. I want to throw a pot somewhere with a, like a plant, but I don't think that's going to work out very well. Yeah, we definitely need to come up with a different place to put it or an alternate solution for that. In the meantime, I'm going to start working on the kitchen table, see about the placement of that, maybe some lights in here, maybe some hanging lights of some sort. And yeah, this is this is where we are so far. Alrighty, here we are, folks. This kitchen, I'm pretty sure, is about done. I put in a little pantry, got some decorative pictures going on. You can see my little redstone lamps. I finally did find a place for the flower pot. On the table here, I used polished dorite steps as the chairs, then uh, kind of a stone fence and threw a piece of carpet on top of it. I definitely want to change this carpet out to something a little bit darker, maybe like a gray carpet. Make it look like a marble tabletop. I think that would look good in here. But yeah, I think this is a good kitchen for now. This will hold us over. I think the only thing left to do for the kitchen is to f fill it up with water. Uh, with water. Fill it up with some food. And that sort of thing is something I'll take care of off camera. It's a rather boring thing to watch me go around and hunt food down and cook it and so forth and so on. Before I end the vlog, I wanted to show you guys something. In part of episode 12, um, The Adventure to the Nether, I traveled up over here, and I don't know if you're going to see in, in part of the clips where I talk about this great big giant hole that was right here and how somebody, how I really need to uh, take care of it. Now, after we got completely ready to go, everybody armored up, everybody geared up, armor, food, everything good to go, I made a rookie mistake and as I was heading over to this wonderful island, I was looking at uh, Guardo Jr.'s screen and just fell right into this hole that was right here. Uh, needless to say, I fell to my death, and it, it took about 20 minutes to recover. Actually, it probably took about 30 minutes to recover everything. It was it was a utter disaster. Our momentum, enthusiasm, everything went down. And then to top it all off, what I ended up doing was remaking a bunch of armor, re-getting a whole bunch of supplies, going back into the nether. And then as we got to our little safe bridge that we made, I ended up getting into a fight with a wither skeleton who just kind of bumped me off the bridge into the lava and just kind of lost everything that I had just created for the second time. So it was very, very frustrating to say the least. And then to find out that the whole entire circus act failed to record, that just really... That just really topped it all off. Anyhow, with all that said, that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you guys so much for joining. And most importantly, thank you for all the love and the support you guys have been showing me. It really keeps me motivated to keep these coming. I'm going to try not to be such a stranger. And I really hope to see you guys in the next episode.